Hello, how y'all doing? I'm going to talk about this. Poverty has nothing to do with money. Neither does obesity have to do with food. Now that goes against everything you ever learned. Poverty has nothing to do with money. Poverty is a condition. This is part one. Poverty is a condition. All money is, is just a medium of exchange. That's all it is. A medium of exchange for goods and services. That's all it is. Poverty is a condition. We got it all wrong. The problem is people's misuse of money. We don't use wisdom. If you don't have anything, you're stupid. You putting that $400 weave with the Gorilla Glue in your hair and you're not putting anything in the bank. And guess what? You're going to need that money. The older you get, as you as you're going to need that $400. I'm going to prove to you that, that poverty has nothing to do with money. Go to Skid Row. Give a random person $300. Come back in two days and see what happened. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. They're going to spend that whole $300 on food. No, not on food. On drugs and prostitution. They're not going to spend that $300 to buy any land in West Texas at $300 an acre. They're not going to spend it um, in Alabama where they can probably buy an acre for $300. They're not going to do that. They're not going to even spend it for a hotel room for, six, for uh, what, six days. They're not going to do that either. It's going to be spent. Why? Because they misuse money. They don't understand money. Another example, ask the professional athletes, NBA, NFL, National Basketball, so National Baseball Association. Ask them. They're poverty stricken, y'all. They got $8 million coming in and $10 million going out. What does that mean? They po. They po. They've got big money coming in. They po. Ask the professional athletes. And then after 15 to 20 years, they still ain't got nothing. They got empty pockets. Ask the athletes. There are so many people that I have heard about making 500K a year, and they go down to zero. How is it that you don't have nothing to show for it? Because they have misused their money. They have misappropriated their money. They don't understand money. You must study money. I don't care if you live in the third world. I don't care if you live in Africa or Asia. You must study money. But look, I can see why Indians and Pakistanis come here and make a lot of money because they understand money. They understand that. They understand that you not you do not buy everything you see. They understand that. I can see why Asians have money because they understand that too. They understand that you don't buy every widget out there, every piece of foolishness, every piece of merchandise that you see. We must get wisdom about money. We must teach our children about money. We must study money. Now you take like some of these witch doctors, they ask Satan for some money. So Satan gives them piles and piles of money. And Satan knows they're going to come to poverty. Why? Because the scripture says a fool and his money are soon parted. They foolish about money. And they're going to come to poverty because the scripture says they have to do it. A fool and his money are soon parted. It doesn't even take a long time for them to be parted. They're soon parted. Okay, the Bible says if you get money by usury, you're going to come to poverty. You get this illegal money, you're still going to come to poverty. We must study money. We must study how to use it. Poverty has nothing to do with money. Poverty is a condition. Money is just a medium of exchange. What we need is wisdom. What you need is wisdom. Have a nice day.